Hello. I decided to go start my survival world, um, let's play thingy. And as you'll notice, it isn't actually at the beginning of the world. So, so far I've actually progressed a decent way through the game, to be honest. Um, so I built me a nice little house here. It's got some stuff in it. We got an ender chest, we got other uh, thingies, we got like half, we got like, I uh, don't know, an eighth of a storage system down there. And just random chest full of stuff. But, you know, I have gone to the end and gotten an elytra and some rockets. And enchanted diamond. I have an enchanting set up up there, and... I also have a little tree farm, a sugarcane farm, and an iron farm. And this definitely is not the most efficient design you can get these days. But, makes me iron, and I use it as a village breeder, so it's kind of win-win. I've been building a pumpkin slash melon farm. And... I got me a bunch of villagers that, um, uh, I've gone and stuck in nice little one block wide houses. So basically how you get these great enchantments is, um, you just stick the villager in there and you break their workstation put it back until they give you a good one. So like, here I got an amazing mending trade for just 14 ammo, so I put mending on all my stuff already. It's really fantastic. And, um, yeah. So what I wanted to do with this was basically, basically, like, record, I'm doing a project, and then I do that project. And that's my goal for recording with this. Anyway, yep. So what I wanted to do is what I wanted to make me some bamboo farm. Because I ran off, found a jungle, got me some bamboo, and now I want to go do stuff with that. But... First, we're gonna need, like, observers and stuff, so I need to go craft those up. I have chosen a location for my bamboo farm, and I think I'm gonna go be putting it over here, my iron farm over there, and, you know, I might build a nice structure, or I might just leave it out in the open looking ugly. But, you know, for now, we need me some of those, um, pistons. And if we go look through my ender chest, um, that's not, I... I, yeah, the red one's the redstone box, but we have three pistons, so um, I'm going to craft me some more of them. I'm also running a little bit out of wood, so I do need to go gather some more of that up before we actually get to crafting. And then I might want to go reform my iron and redstone from my boxes and such. These sheep are really getting on my nerves, to be honest, because I just have like a bajillion of them underneath here. Ha! Has been mined! Now I need to replant. Boop. And boop. And boop. And boop. Next thing to do is to grab some cobblestone. Um... I don't have any cobblestone. Might need to go convert some stone into cobblestone, and this feels very wasteful. With the last of this converted, now I think we can actually go craft some pistons. We cobblestone, winning. Did I craft a piston? I don't remember. But we're gonna craft a piston. Um, pretty sure I need some wood. Go boop. Wood right. So let's cross the top, and then you get like some do hickma bobbers. No, bit like that. Um, right. Ah. Oh, and I need some more wood. I amazingly now have one more than a half stack of pistons. You know what else you need for bamboo farm? You need observers. So now I need to go find out how to make those. I'm pretty sure it's like nether ports and stuff. And um, is that not how you make observers? Wait a second. This? Wait a second. How do I make observers? Oh. Oh. Yeah. And I need some more cobblestone. Time to go convert some more of that. Now time for more observer crafting. Exciting. Cobblestone. And also cobblestone. And look at this. Look at this nether quartz. Eh, that'll be enough for now. Anyway, so, 
Now we have a couple observers and a couple pistons and a couple bamboo. So, time to go start building. So I'm just clearing out a little area where I'm gonna go build all of it. It's gonna be nice and bamboo-ish. Let's go pop in some blocks. Doop, doop, doop. Yay, now the blocks are in. So now I actually need grass, oh. Yeah, apparently you can't grow bamboo on stone, so um, yeah. So I'm actually just gonna have to go rip this out and replace it with grass again. The sheep is like, my real estate can't take my five blocks of grass. Oh, no, no, he doesn't care anymore. Probably because I just said something. Look at that. Sheep's running away. Runaway sheep. Oh, no, it's coming back at me. Sheep are dangerous, you know. But only if they kill you. If the sheep has a lava bucket, you should probably run away. Because if a sheep's wielding lava, like, some stuff's about to go down, like, really though. Anyway, but I put the grass strips back in. So now we can go, um, place down, like, two pieces of bamboo. Oh my god. Seven bamboo. Oh my goodness. Look at how much bamboo we got now. So now I pretty much need to go close this recipe book because it's kind of irritating. And, like, put in, like, three pistons. Amazing. Oh, oh some more pistons. And we put in the pistons. Look at that. And now I need to go decide how high I want the observers. And then go put in the hoppers and mine carts. But for now, I'm just going to go put in the rest of the pistons. So look at that. One of our pieces, uh, two of them have grown. Look at this. We got growy bamboo here. It's growing. And break. I didn't craft enough pistons. Which means I also didn't craft enough observers. Time to get some more of those. Boop. Yay. More pistons. I'm gonna craft, make me a, um, uh, kind of shorter sugarcane farm. I'm just gonna make it, I mean, not sugarcane, um, uh, whatever these are called, bamboo farm. Because, basically, I want to build a little house over top of this. It's gonna be kind of interesting. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out, but that's the plan. And, um, yeah, so I just want it to be three blocks tall, and I can build a cool look and structure around it. To kind of, you know, go with the aesthetic. Um, well, my iron farm, of course, definitely isn't. But I'm trying to go build, like, I don't know, medieval or something. Never done much building in Minecraft before. Like, I tried to make this interesting courtyard, and also made my building, my windmill, my little tree area. This thing went through, like, three iterations before I actually came to this. And I like, well, my favorite part about this is it's got a little underneath area. It's cool. But anyway, I was going on a rant, around a rant. But here we go. I was going and putting some more of these observers in here. And we need to go craft some more in a minute. And here I've done, with the um, section that I filled in anyway, I've done me a clever bit of redstoning. So basically... For um, this, I've had a little observer up here, which then, if we go climb on top of here, um, so it either feeds into a block or it feeds into an actual thing of redstone, back and forth. So when it feeds into the block, it goes and powers this redstone here, which then powers the piston. And sometimes it'll feed into redstone, which then powers the block, which powers the piston. And it means that the entire row doesn't trigger all at once, which means it's probably going to be a lot more lag-friendly. And it looks really cool with this whole... Um, thingy. Um, it's a cool looking design. There. I still do need to go get me some more observers, so I think I'll finish the rest of this off camera. I had explosion in the ceiling earlier and had no idea what it was. Yeah, I think a creeper spawned in here from, like, I don't know, inside of here somewhere. Like, let's see, is this light level? Seven block, yeah, that one block can literally spawn, spawns the creeper. And they went and blew that up, so now I have to go, um, fix that. And, um, the reason I'm up here is actually because I came back home to sleep. And, you know, I just decided, why not? Just cut through the ceiling. Best way to get in. Anyway, yeah. I remember this while, um... 
remember building my sugarcane farm, and um, you definitely want to make a little line of blocks right above your observers. Because otherwise, it gets on top, and these items build up, and it can be really irritating. Especially when they spawn faster and update it um, faster than, you know, items despawn. So eventually you get this massive just build up of just bamboo on here. It also, you know, wastes some of it by knocking it on top. So right now, I'm just gonna go put me in a little line of blocks and the bottom. Can't forget about the bottom. And so now we have a completed farm. I almost forgot about torches. Torches are kind of an integral part. If you want it to run at night at least. Cause the light of day only lasts while you're in daylight. And especially if I'm not gonna leave this open to sky, that's um uh, just a little bit of a problem. Just putting the walls in now, got it all torched up, got all the bamboo there. I've crafted up my hoppers. So basically, now I just need to dig out underneath and go put those in. And I'm three cobblestone short. Hey, I have three more cobblestone! Uh, anyway, I'll go put those in in a minute. I have run out of cobblestone yet again. I'm just gonna go through all my stone at this point. Here's an interesting design. So all the stuff that falls in the middle. So we should probably ignore that this is awful. Anyway, so all the stuff that falls in the middle, I'll um, get to push down into this water stream. And then comes over to here so I can go collect it, do whatever I want with it. Actually, I'm not sure if this farm can actually produce it faster than this eats it. Yeah, it doesn't at all. Well, that kind of sucks. So now that my project was complete and under failure, now I have this giant cobblestone thingy hanging around, I guess. And by complete and under failure, I mean, like, it works, but, like, it's a bit slow. So instead, I'm just gonna build this, like, ten levels high and have a load of sugar cane just go flying down here. That ought to work pretty well. And then next to the sugar cane, I might also make some cactus and make this into an XP farm. So I'm get on to making this taller. Stacking them directly on top of each other. So eventually, we're gonna have a bunch of layers. And I'm just barely starting. I got me some grass blocks, because I have silk touch on my shovel. So a massive store of these things, just chilling in a chest. So I'm gonna go build this up. I have no idea what I'm gonna build around this. I think it would be kind of interesting if I built like a cool looking like mage tower, but that's probably never gonna happen. So, for now, I'm gonna stick to collecting resources for pistons and observers. And watch the endless pile of bamboo just build up down there. I have dug me a big hole for cobblestone. Because as it turns out, cobblestone's a really useful resource. When you're crafting things that take six cobblestone per thing, like observers. And then, don't you just love it when you accidentally fall into a cave? Uh, uh, where'd I go? Darn it, I, I'm lost now. And you can get lost in them. Just a win-win. Okay, I found my way back. Wee. But yeah, I was just digging along, and then there was another cave! I'm over at the caving level now. Now I'm putting the second layer of pistons into place, and I end up making this, like, five layers. I have got me some observers that I can stick on top of the pistons. Now I forget which way observers go, even though I placed them down earlier. Okay, they don't place opposite like pistons, do they? I'm gonna have to go make a platform back there, aren't I? Guess what out of cobblestone? What do I not have cobblestone? I'm gonna make this thing consistent. It might be kind of irritating to do, but it's gonna happen. Actually, I was thinking about it. I'm actually just gonna go build me a cobblestone generator right now. I got some water. Uh, let's go fill up my other water bucket. And I also need some lava. 
And I'm just gonna mine cobblestone for a little while. Wee. Oh crap, and it's shooting at me. Obviously, I'm taking your lava and running away. Wee. Don't hit me. Actually, I have rockets down there. I can just fly. What am I? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Well, I was just grabbing some lava and I got lava and gasted. Oh my goodness. That's a bit much. I'm gonna go to spam space, but I need some food. And then I just flew back here and I got hit by lava again. I am horrible at, like, not dying to lava. Like, nearly dead twice. In one trip to the nether, in full diamond armor. I consider this not a success. Now we're gonna build a small device. Easy cobblestone generator. You, like, dig some blocks. Right? Yep, the blocks dug. And then you dig another block. And you kind of stick your water in there. And then you go put down yourself a hopper. Woo, hoppers. Hoppers are all, always make things more fun. And you dig out, like, another block or two. And then, and then, we'll get to get this. You dig out another block, and another block, and then you put a block back. And then you put down some lava. And now you have a cobblestone generator. And I almost forgot to put obsidian here. So, you know, just holding down left click, and I mean grass accidentally. Anyway, is that a problem? Um, I'm still gonna go fix that. To the obsidian. I can't seem to find obsidian in my garbage storage system. Wait, is it here? Nope. Nope, not in there. In here? Nope. Anyway. Guess I'll have to break a few grass blocks. It's the end of the world. Oh my goodness. Makes a nice little rhythm just breaking this cobblestone here. Here, bamboo. Getting rectified in the background by the bamboo farm and just digging cobblestone so you can build a bamboo farm interesting stuff you know I've already made like 5,000 cuts on this it's amazing how many um, little cuts I can make in this thing it's mildly amusing look at that four stacks oh yeah boop doop 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 I'm on top yay oh okay don't fall down there now I just gotta add in all the cobblestone and put in the observers. Look at that. Done with that site already. Going fast. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about putting cobblestone here. Whoops. And the first stack's out. Now I get to build a ring around it. So I can actually go put in the rest of this. Aha! Uh -huh. And it's observer time! And... Now, there goes the second stack of cobblestone. Yep. Yeah. I might have to go back there at some point soon. But now, it's time to put in all the redstone wiring. Boom. Gotta go place all the cobblestone on the side of this. That's weird. Get, like, microwaves going off in the background. Some good stuff. Should probably close my door. Oh, you don't want that boot. There you go, dog. And we have one side complete! Yay! Time for the other side. And look at that iron golem dying in the distance. And, got one done. Just went and back and grabbed me some more redstone. So I can continue. Here goes the third stack. And, now we only have one stack left. Look at that. We're like full of stacks today. You like got so many stacks and then we used all of them. Oh yeah, I need some bamboo. That's kinda what this bamboo farm's for. Wee Ow. All the bamboo has been placed in, and we have two fully functioning layers that all go down into nothing. And now it's time to put in the third layer of grass. Yay! Only two more layers to go after this one. 
Only all my resources to waste on this thing. And I've run out of grass. And a little bit of grass has been left there. But there's lighting to do, and there is day to start. So that shall be done shortly. Okay, grass is in. And so far, it's looking really cool. And it's looking like this farm is insanely wasteful. Because it is. And back to grinding cobblestone. Look at that. Stacks. Aw, oh, yeah. Four stacks of cobble. And... Oh, skelly. Oh, damn it. I hate skellies. Alright, skelly dead. Time to climb up to the top. Yay. And now, we can go and place some more cobble. Doop, 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 doop. Yay. Fun. Actually, now that we've gotten a um, little bit of a start on our bamboo farm, I have become insanely bored with this because I've been doing this for several hours. So we're going to take a trip to the end and probably dump all our stuff in a storage system first. Here, I have a lot of leaves. And we're going to be using these to go build a witch McCullough farm. I already forgot. Um, Enderman farm. Because I have designed Enderman Farm, but apparently, if you stick leaves around the edges, they get more spawns. So I'm going to be doing that. Anyway, I'll show you my design when I get over to the end, but for now I'm going to be packing a little bit of stuff for the trip. And so my favorite way to go into the end is jump! Boop. And now we're in the end. So what I plan to do here is I plan to go excavate vast tracts of land. And, um, basically I'm gonna go take all, down all these garbage looking pillars that I built while I was fighting the Ender Dragon. So clean up this area a little bit and I'm gonna harvest some so I can go pillar out way off out there. Or I'm not pillar out all the way out there, I have leaves for that, but you know what I mean. I'm gathering end stone and cleaning up the end. That took like... A full like 10 minutes right there a lot of effort and by a lot of effort I am being sarcastic um let's grab me some leaves hey now we have some leaves oh no don't want you in there if you store your silk touch pickaxe in your ender chest you're kind of not really able to pick it up again <laughs> Which is a little bit of a problem. Anyway, so let's just go pillar out this away. I'm gonna go pillar out from here. Into like, I don't know, 500. Let's go to 500. Wee! Well, that was a bit of pillaring. We're only at like 400, but I think that'll do. Because, well, it's literally black void for like a really long while until we get over there. So now, I need to remember, did I actually bring the stuff I needed for here? I need me some slabs. Let's go grab those. <laughs> Uh, we might want to make a little leaf platform first. Actually, I could just probably make this whole thing out of leaves. You know what? They're full blocks, and they're a lot nicer to work with, so I'm just going to use leaves. Don't even need slabs. So, in here. Actually, this is where we need slabs. Oh, I'll just use leaves. Leaves are a good enough building block for me. There we go. And then 
Now let me some end stone. Um, I don't actually remember how to build one of these, do I? I'm just kind of rambling at this point. But, um, yeah. We got a place out here. And that's probably going to be good enough for me for today. So let's go fly back. Eee. Action. And then you just misclick just once. And then it reduces your farm's efficiency. And then the piston falls and it's irritating to get. And there's a lot of issues with misclicking. Makes the game a lot less fun when you do it. I've only really shown you this while I've been building it, but like... From where we are right now, it already looks like insanely cool. Like, if we go down to this area, I went and cleared out some more dirt. And it just looks insanely cool to just go look up through there and see little things falling down. Once this is done, I think I'm gonna, like, plan to use this kind of as a, um, uh... Auto- as- well, I'm gonna use it to power a smelting array. Just for smelting things. And then, um, all the extras will go into a, um, XP storage. And you can tell, it's definitely not big enough yet. Because if we look over here, the bamboo is slowly draining. No! Oh, look, it's actually, like, producing now. It was just, like, not for a bit there. Oh, there you go. Now I'm in the furnace hole. But, yep. Needs to get bigger. Need to go build up that third level, fourth level, fifth level. And then we'll have a gigantic ugly box. And it'll be amazing, because it'll produce a lot of bamboo. I could just use a zero tick farm for this, but, um, I mean, come on, having a giant box that, like, that looks like this on the inside is way cooler. And we're back to the tree farm again. And the furnace has turned off. It has exhausted our reserves. Basically, whenever a bamboo comes in here, it just, like, powers it, and it just dies. And the next one comes over, and then it powers it. Oh, it even got powered an extra time. Oh my goodness, we might actually smelt something. Look at that. And if it's perfectly synchronized, you might even get a smelt out of it. Look at that. Good job, Bamboo Farm. Good job. And just finishing up, and the pistons are done. Yay! Oh, this is weird. I rarely ever go into front view. Anyway. That whip that that. I'm just walking over like do 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 do. And then I see this giant cobblestone box. And then it's like, oh yeah, that's what I was working on and gathering stone for. I remember now. It's just been a while because I've been mining stone. At least it feels like a while. It's only been a few minutes to be honest. I was wondering what I was doing. I was making a giant cobblestone ring. I came down here and prepare to be amazed. Look at that. It actually has smelted through a decent chunk of it, even though like 99% of this has been wasted. It's really interesting. Anyway, still working on those observers. Haven't built any more. Just grabbing more cobblestone as the usual. And would you look at that? Can't even see the observer faces on the far edge. But yeah, it's building up, slowly but surely. Just need to go put in the redstone, and we will have third layer done. That really bottom segment right there, uh, let me go show you. It's not actually like producing anything, it's literally just some bamboo, because I thought it looked cool. I've just been like placing in this redstone, and I think I'm actually going to run out of cobblestone on probably the section that takes the least cobblestone. Hello there, husk. Prepare your meet your doom! Ha 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 ha! Um, damn it, now I'm on fire. And I'm hungry. And I'm out of food. Oh, no, I have an apple. Oh, darn it, now there's a skeleton shooting me. Got lots of problems these days. And now it's time for a little thing I like to call cow murder. Yay! They'll stop being as loud. But to be honest, they weren't the obnoxious one in the first place. It was the sheep. Oh, yeah. Is that good? Alright, it's like a loud stack. I'll take it. That's a feeling. There we go. Gotta go with her real fast. And here we have it. It managed to smelt all of it. Yoink. Gonna go grab some of this bamboo for the next layer. I literally just built this and I'm one redstone short. 
I mean, I did, I put all the redstone in for everything else, and I, I don't have it for the last one. Then we'll get some more redstone. Good thing I have a bunch stored up in my redstone box, so it isn't too difficult. I don't actually have to go mining, but, like, <laughs> that happened. This place is probably better than lit up than, like, the majority of the area I live in. Which is why there's so many creepers and zombies over on the surrounding hills. Like, I should take this as an example to myself. Light up my area as good as I light up my giant cobblestone box. And here goes the grass. In the rain, at night. Chilling with my grass. Goodness, if I didn't have a silk touch shovel for this, this would be an absolute pain trying to get, like, grass up here. I'd probably just, like, opt for just putting in more torches and just using sand instead. Actually, I'm not sure if you can grow it on dirt, but I think grass looks the nicest out of the three, to be honest. Alright. Putting it in. Layer three complete. Time for layer four. Yay. It's kind of approaching, like, the top of my actual, um, uh leaf thingy and i think by the five it'll be around it'll be a bit taller than my house and maybe as tall as my windmill too be a pretty big structure just walking over here and i found this strange box and this is where i captured my zombie for that thingy i don't think you can see the zombie right now but he's there he's there basically i just gave him like some random helmet i found and i was like here and then he just didn't respawn so that was good but yeah, I accidentally left the box. Guess I was a bit distracted trying not to be blown up by creepers while leading him up there. Holy crap, I nearly just walked in there and I didn't have a water bucket on me. I should remember to keep one of those in my hot bar. Holy crap. So I was just mining away, so I went and dug out this block, and there's a lava lake. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get me some water real fast. Oh. Oh yeah, I just kidding. Water acquired. Wee. And from the skies, still looks like a big cobblestone box. I don't think much change there. Me realizing it's not producing any more bamboo. Cause I didn't add bamboo to the farm in the first place. I'm in a bit of a predicament. I feel my elytra accidentally down here into the sheep pit while, you know, harvesting some wood. And, um, I don't think I can really escape from here, can I? So I might have to go slaughter, like, half my sheep. And while that's quite nice for how much experience I get, and a lot of mutton, now my sheep are Actually, I'm pretty fine with this. They're kind of irritating anyway. But yeah, nighttime. Better go to sleep. But this is kind of nice because now we've got all this mutton, right? And what we can do with it is we can use our auto smelter. Oh yeah, we get get that green dye out of here. Cause I don't want green dye. I'm probably actually they used to be cactus green. What? Oh, they might have changed that in 1.14 or something. I haven't used dyes in a while, to be honest. I'm probably using outdated information, though. I I remember mostly just using lapis lazuli as blue dye. And that was pretty much... That was blue dye. You just use lapis lazuli, right? It's kind of nice that they made the distinction now, so you can actually go mix colors to make different things instead of having to use specific resources. But yeah, um, that took more dirt than, um, it used. Well, better go find some more dirt, I guess. Just climbed up here, and here we have the last two pistons of this fourth layer. And, I don't think I'm actually gonna, like, show any more footage from this build, except for when I'm done with this layer and the next layer. Just cause this has been just a real grind for me. And, um, it'll look way cooler once it's done. So, I'll see you once it's all put in. I am an idiot. I had this giant stash of cobblestone just chilling here down in my um, quarry area I randomly decided to build because I thought these were slime trunks, but I'm pretty sure they're actually not slime trunks because I've never seen a slime spawn in them. 
Anyway, but yeah, I've got a massive amount of stone here, so I'm gonna go grab my shoulder box and just yoink all this up. This will make this speed up by a lot. I have now pretty much run out of nether quartz. I need to go mine some more. This is my last 15 nether quartz I have. And yeah. I'll have to go get some more of that, I guess. Anyway, so um, it's getting pretty tall now, and I went and I have now completed the fourth layer. One layer to go. Haven't run out of cobblestone yet. And I really hope these last, like, four or five stacks will last me through the last layer so I don't have to go mining anymore. So, we're on the final fifth layer up here. Might not actually be final, I might build some more because this isn't as fast as I'd like it. But, for now, it's the final layer. And, the cobblestone I was hoping would last us through has completely ran out. I have zero blocks of cobblestone right now. Did manage to get all the way through the pistons though. I'm kind of surprised by that. And I just need the observers, and the torches, and the cobblestone to go over top of it. And then this whole um, monstrosity right here will be completed. Oh, well, except, well, and we also have to add these little things, of course. We need to make it symmetrical. Alright, but yeah. Get to it. And mine. It's time lapse time. And boop. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. The mechanism is done. It is complete! I just have to go fill everything in. And, um, yeah. I still don't have enough cobblestone. But, you know, at least I can go put in the bamboo right now. We And we Oh, damn it. A break. There we go. Ah, we Oh, did I actually get that far? I didn't. There we go. Boom. Nice. It is now completified. Now that is what I call winning. So now I can power this one furnace indefinitely with the giant cobblestone box. Anyway, have a nice day.